Hello, Rockape here. Just another update video on my broken tibia and fibula situation. If you're watching this and you're in the same boat as me, I've got an x-ray for it that I was given a month ago. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but just haven't got around to it. It's been just over three months since I was hit by a car, but I try and not let that get me down. We got a cat to help keep me from going crazy in the day when I'm by myself all alone. Other than that, my friends have been keeping me company either online or in person, so that's been cool. I'm very bored and I want to go back to work. It's a strange thing to say, but after three months of this, it's just, you just feel so, so terrible. <laughs> I'd love to get back in the gym because I've put on loads of weight, but the doctor said that I'm to use 25% weight bearing. Uh, I go back again in two weeks from now because it will have been about six weeks since I last went then and I'll find out what that doctor says then. I've been to physio now. I'll show you some of the exercises I've been doing but first I'll show you my x-ray. Pink. So here we have the x-ray. I took a picture of it on the monitor. You can see the damage that's been done. You can see the rod going down my leg. On the left hand side, you can see the fibula, which is a smaller bone, and you can see where it's properly smashed. The doctors have all said that they don't really care too much about that because the other bone is the main bone, this is a supporting bone. You can see where the damage has gone through. I properly did some serious damage on that. You can, I think you can see bits of bone, looks like little bits of bone. And you can see the rod, how it goes all the way down my leg on the right picture. And there's a lot of swelling still going on, even though it's been three months. But I am able to put shoes on both my feet these days, as before, could not get anything over it. And there isn't so much pain in my toes. I had a lot of pain from where the tendons goes up my big toe, and I think it must go really close to the rod or touch the rod, because it is really hard to move my right foot but like I said I was given some stretches which I'll show you now in the spare bedroom so I have full range of movement in my knee so the physio didn't need to bother with that even though I got this massive scar but I do have a lot of issues with my ankle it is quite swollen I don't know if you can tell the difference you can see that my right foot it's darker in colour, but apparently the colour, um, as long as it fades when you have it elevated, it's fine. You can see the swelling in my ankle in comparison to my left foot, but it has gone down a lot. It was much worse than that. It looked like a cooked ham, someone told me. The stretches I was given was just basically ankle stretches. The first one was you pull your, t your foot up towards you. You can see the difference hopefully with my right and my left my left foot I can actually cross over and that's as far as I can get my right foot up you can see the the swelling causing my skin to change colour so you want to pull it up for a few seconds and relax and pull it up again I do both at the same time just because it's easier Pull it up, down for three seconds, up again. You really want to pull it to your your big toe towards you. So you do that, say ten times, and then you move down to pointing your toes away from you. My foot going this way with this physio has actually really helped. It's still a little bit of a difference but it's not as much as going the other way that's probably about the same the swelling doesn't help either so you do that ten times just pulling it down hold it for a few seconds and relax the next one I was shown was you want to put your ankle inwards so spread your legs a little bit and you're going in try not to move your knee or your hips round it's just your ankle. So you do that a few times. 
and then you're gonna go out then. I, I'm very stiff going out. That can be taken wrongly if I wasn't about my feet. So you do that a few times and hold up. Okay, so next, they want me to work on my calf muscle because there'll be a lot of muscle wastage from where I'm not allowed to use my leg. So what they said was if I grab a towel, I'm doing this one handed, but you want to grab, you want to use both your hands, well you can do it one handed, get the towel around your foot and pull your foot and the towel towards your body. This will stretch your calf muscle. Make sure your leg is as straight as you can get it and you'll feel the pull. Keep this up for 30 seconds, say three or four times and it will really help with your calf muscle. But there's actually a couple of calf muscles you got there. So the other one, you want to bend your knee. You can't see, sit down there and pull. The same again, make sure you have your leg bent. Mind the mess. This is no good. And then, so that's a good one for your calf. For my thigh, I was told basically you want to just try and get your kneecap to touch the ground. So basically, tense your kneecaps up, and that will work your muscle wastage for your thigh. And another good one is lay back, so you can leg up in the air, and you want to pull. See, my hand is on the back of my thigh. You pull that up, and that'll do the back of your leg. Ooh, hello! You can see my scars. Uh, I want to say, excuse the mess. You, again, you want to hold it for thirty seconds for a couple of times to help the swelling go down. I was recommended using an ice pack and having massages with an ice pack. You can use frozen peas or anything. Wrap it around a towel so you don't get an ice burn and just put it on for 15-20 minutes. And for a massage, you want to do a massage going up your leg. So it's just like smoothing a baby or a cat. I don't know, do people smooth babies? But anyway, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and if it's helped you, or if you're going through a similar thing, just throw me a message because I can find it very disheartening being stuck at home, not being able to do all my favourite things. I love cycling and going for walks and stuff. Being unable to do them sucks. So, yeah, hope you have a good day, or morning, or evening, or whatever. Thank you for watching.